Today we're going to be learning how to add mixed numbers. Last chapter we learned what a mixed number was. It's a number that has two parts. A whole number part and a fraction part. So today we're going to have two of these mixed numbers and we're going to be adding them together. So we can take break this apart into our whole numbers so three holes and two holes, and our fraction parts, one-fourth and two-fourth. For this first one, I'm going to use a model, draw a picture, to help me solve it. So I have three holes and one-fourth, and then I add two holes and two-fourths. So we can kind of break this up. I'm going to just add all of my holes first. So I have one, two, three, four, five whole circles. Write that up in my answer. And then I want to know how many fourths I have. So I have one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. And there we go. Pretty simple. We have five holes and three-fourths. Another strategy we can use if we don't want to draw a picture or a model is we can break this apart. So really this is this two and one-sixth is really like one plus one, so that's our two holes, plus one-sixth. And if we break apart our four and three-sixths we have plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, so that's our four holes. Plus one sixth, plus one sixth, plus one sixth, so that's our three sixths broken apart. And once again, we just add all of our whole numbers, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six holes. Then I have one, two, three, four, six. So our answer is six and four, six. Keep in mind that this chapter and always we want to simplify our fractions. Our whole numbers always stay the same. A whole number is simple for us to think of. But our fractions, we still need to make sure that we put them in simplest form. So. My six holes are good, but my four six I can put in simplest form. So I'm going to write my four six at the bottom, find my factors of four, always try the greatest common factor. So if I have a four, it doesn't work because I have four and eight, it needs to fit into both four and six. Try two, it works. Two, four, six. So I'm going to divide both numbers by 2 so that it is an equivalent fraction. We have to do the same thing to both our numerator and our denominator. So this is going to equal 2 thirds. So I'm going to take my 4 6 up top, erase it, put it in simplest form, and now I am done. So 6 and 2 thirds. Once you get the hang of this, you probably won't need to draw pictures or break it apart. You can probably do a lot of this in your head. So first I look at my whole numbers. I have four and five. So if I have four holes plus five holes, how many whole numbers do I have? I have nine. And if I have three eighths plus four eighths, how many eighths do I have? Well, three plus four is seven. So I have seven eighths. So I have nine and seven eighths. Can I simplify seven eighths? No. So I am done. Okay, go ahead and try this one with me. For this first one, I do want you to draw a picture. So if we have two holes and one-fourth. Go ahead and draw 
two holes and then draw another hole that only has one fourth. It'll look something like this. So I have two holes and I have one fourth. And then we're going to add that to one and two fourths. So go ahead and draw that real quick. And I'm probably going a little too fast for you, but you can always hit pause. So now that we have our picture, we want to know how many whole rectangles do we have. We have one, two, three. So three holes. And how many fourths do we have? One, two, three. So we have three fourths. Okay. Do this next problem with me as well. Oh, once again, we always want to check to see if it's in simplest form. Three fourths is. So we have another problem: two and one fifth plus three and two fifths. And this time, we want to break it apart without using pictures, just to practice the different strategies we've learned the past chapter or two. So, 2 has one hole, plus one more hole, then how many fifths has one fifth, and how many more holes do we need to add? 3, so plus 1, plus 2, plus 3 holes, and how many two fifths, oops, kind of gave that one away, how many fifths, there's two fifths. Okay, now that we have this written down, I want you to add up all the holes we have. I'll try not to give anything else away. So how many holes do we have? One, two, three, four, five. So that's the first part of our answer. Five holes, and how many fifths do we have? One, two, three. Three fifths. So five and three fifths. Can we simplify three fifths? No, we cannot. So that is our answer. Okay. I think you're ready for the four problems. If not, you can start back at the beginning and watch this again. So here we go. Number one. What is one and three eighths plus four and one eighth. Remember at the end to see if you can simplify your fraction part. So make sure it is in simplest form. Number two, two and one sixth plus three and three sixths. Same thing, make sure you check at the end to make sure that the fraction part is in simplest form. Number three, five and one fifth plus three and two fifths. And last of all, number four, two and two fourths plus four and one fourth. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you tomorrow.